Once I'm happy with my composition, I can export or share it. What will happen is you'll bring up this export composition window and it'll show you a preview of what your image is going to look like when you share it or save it. So this is, this is the pro and enterprise version, the desktop app. The free version you can still share to Facebook and save to your gallery. The pro version has a few extra features. I can actually save this directly to my hard drive if I want to. So let's actually save this to our gallery I'm gonna, and, and hard drive. I'm gonna name the image file. We'll just call this Chicago. And I'm gonna check this box here to also save it to my gallery. And we'll, we'll name it the gallery title of Chicago down here. Once I click export image, it's going to encode the image. This is a little bit bigger image in terms of pixel size. You can see I've got the pixel dimensions here and the suggested print dimensions here. So this will take a little bit to encode. Once encoding is complete, it'll ask me to save it to my hard drive. I'll just save it into the same folder we've been working with. So I click save. Once it's saved, it's now going to upload the image to my gallery. If you were on the web version, the or creator version, this would just be your direct option and it would save straight to your gallery. So once the file is saved, um, I can go access it in my online gallery. I can also share it to Facebook at this point as well. So if I click on Facebook, I can choose a message. Let's just say, hello from tutorial. And if I want to, I can actually tag friends in here too. So I can, there's really no people in here, but I can click somewhere and bring up our friends list. There's my whole friends list. I'm not gonna go through and find everyone in Chicago. But then I'll just share this. It'll re-encode the image again for a, a better size for Facebook. And the Facebook, the photo should be posted on Facebook now. The pro version and enterprise version you can also save to a gallery in Flickr or SmugMug, which I'm not going to demonstrate in this tutorial, but that's for professional photographers mostly who have those accounts. And if there's any problems, definitely visit support.getmosaicstudio.com.